just want to check if the sound's still good. Give myself a bit of lemonade. Cheers. Cheers, mate. I think I've looted this. Yes and no. Uh, loot all. Um, hmm. Oh, I did loot all. Actually. Oh, man. My base and uh, have my ninja, but celebrate it with my uh, housemates, home mates. So, Eater of Worlds. I think there's two or three more bosses, and then we can do the. more uh, homes here I think in the desert and underground somewhere so maybe that one base we started Shadow scale crafting void bag summons the void vault. If carried, it may pick up items when your inventory is full. This pocket dimension is out of this world. Ooh, I like that. Jungle spores, shadow scale, and bone. Void vault. Can be placed, can be used to store your items. Stored items can only be accessed by you, will contain items picked up by any void bag. So it's kind of like our piggy bank and trough. But the void bag also stores really big stuff. The breaker 55% hammer power. I've got 59% hammer power. I think we need this. 59, 65, able to mine house doing as well. And we can upgrade to the next set if we've got a bunch of these. I think we do. We'll think of that anvil needed. So we need a pickaxe and then the full shadow set here if we can. Now we need the hellstone barn as well. Which we have six. Create a magical shadow orb. Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of demonite. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. So I think we can get up to the next tier of armor. So from 25, we will go up to whatever next year is if we have enough i think we should have enough um okay so we want a nightmare pickaxe place our platinum pickaxe and already have shadow scale we crafted a light bane 75 percent axe bane a current axe at um, silver axe 50% axe power. <laughs> I 
Mm, okay. Let's try this. Shadow Greaves. And Shadow Helmet. So that we can change Ancient Shadow. I think this counts for a full set. Confirm. Four. Ah, set bonus increased movement speed. Ah, what would be extra defense? Well, this one gives more defense because the set bonus is extra four defense as well. Hmm, the strong ball of earth though. Got lots of stuff. <laughs> Um, let's see. Can probably upgrade our axe though. Our hammer power is better. Demon bow. Instead of launch silver axe, yes. Okay. Uh, let's store. We're not going to use platinum pickaxes. Done. Bow form. Done. 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 Hmm. I want to say we're going to use the. Use this because it does so much damage. But. Very slow speed. This is fast speed. It doesn't have a range attack. This one does have a range attack. Okay, so we're gonna axe. Ooh, agile musket. That should, in theory. Okay, now we run out of spaces. Um, I was thinking maybe that bottom base section that we've built before. Um, I think where was it? I have a two-story one. So it's not this one. This one? Oh, I'm still very close. Hmm. What I'm trying to uh, think of is where can we build a, um, yeah, so we've got stuff over there. Where can we build a, ah, they did move in over there. Hmm. Where is that? Yeah, I want to move him to a place where maybe over the year. Or I can move them to the jungle. I'm trying to uh, think where where can we put them or over the year. So the fisherman likes the ocean biome. Yeah, that was a long fall. <laughs> oh, so much stream caves over there. And some stream caves over there. And some more corruption over there. Yeah, we constructed a little bit of a hideout there. We're fishing there because one of the fishermen's quest was corruption zone fish. Mm. At least we got the arms dealer. So we can go and uh, check what he's got for sale.
Maybe for now we, we do use this one, even though I feel it's a little bit close. Just to spread them out. Because they feel um there's too many people living in this one spot. Watch out for the water up there. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I think we'll make this one at least two people or three people can move in there. So once there's three people in the same zone or area, house slash thing, um, that's considered a safe zone and spawns less enemies. Previously I was unlucky and I had somebody in here that kept dying because they kept walking out, they were by themselves. And they kept walking out and dying to the animals in there. Um, so I am gonna move here. Do want to get even deeper? I think that might still be surface. <laughs> Them's the biomes. Got something here. Ah, so it actually tells me on the map that I've placed torches there. Minecraft. Maybe you should just see how far the minecart track goes. <laughs> All the way. Um because if we do get a pylon, which is a teleport thing, um, I don't want it to be close. Ah, right. thinking, thinking, overthinking this. Um, let me store stuff. More stuff. Yes. We're gonna make more grey brick and grey brick wall construction. Or use some bombs to clear out. Um, let's do that. Make sure that all can be stored. Agile musket. Slow speed. Average knockback. Equipment. Even said block. My understanding is that this pickaxe can also um, mine through even stone. I think. Okay, so we want a grey brick. We need this. Oh, we need the stone. So lots of grey bricks, uh, grey brick wall, black wall. I think the miner and the arms dealer we can move underground. I also still want to go and find the the frozen biome. This is probably then to the left. Went to the right far enough. Stay to the west. Ok, 
Schön. Lime Kelp. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, everything I wanted for this great big wall. I think we already have a bunch of it. Stone wall. The so grey gray brick wall is the one we've got over here. Remember to have a stack of wood on it. Make the doors and things. Yeah, so if it's considered a home or a town that's got more villages in it, uh, enemy spawn rates are are, rest, are less. So uh, let's see if we can get that done at least. Why is your door open? Thing. Okay. Oh, the other thing I thought was to go to the other shroom caves that we found the other day because of um, how much we found uh, in terms of hearts in the other one.
Yeah, so it's actually looking at the minimap, it's just basically directly below us where I want to go. That sound I associate with this. Get life up to 400. To my understanding. what I was thinking of in terms of where we'll make our next uh, base. Maybe something there. Of something there. Because I've already got a bit of stuff there. Actually, pretty close still to where we were at our home base. Maybe make it to the shroom caves because we've got one there. Yeah, so on the edge of the shroom caves. Let's get to that one. Okay, so we need to go left and down. Five hundred for blue slime. Just checking, just checking. Fruits. So, to the left here and down.
Oh, I didn't even see that guy. Not gonna flushed. So it's over there. I don't mean that. Quickly. Go down. Noise. I think there's something valuable here. Ah, besides water. <laughs> If we extend our base a little bit from below, we can uh, make this top section part of our base. Or if we uh, deal with the water though. Hmm. Where do we want to pipe the water? And a region there. Ah, statue. Sunflower statue. And an anvil. Mm. A bomb. And... Ah, oh, that's all. Don't flood my home, don't flood my home. Okay. Yeah, so that needs a bit of work to not let enemies spawn in there. And... Okay. Drain all the water, I think. Cool, so we can extend that base up a little bit. We have a really ready one there. Hmm. 
can drain that down there and maybe down below as well. Okay, so we've got an extractinator here. Um, it's good. But we'd also want chests and stuff to store stuff. We drain water into the 